guys, today I have a get ready with me. I have to get ready, and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. Uh, you see that I have switched up the camera angle a little bit. You are sitting on my beauty desk right now, and you are facing the doors and the closet. So I'm using natural lighting today, so if the lighting looks a little dim or off, then, I, then it usually looks, that's why. But I figured I will just like hang out with a bunch of friends. This is probably going to be a long freaking video because it usually takes me a long time or a short time to do makeup. Like, it's not like a moderate amount of time ever <laughs> because let's be real. So let's just do it. <laughs> First, we're going to have a milk dud. Milk dud. If you want to sponsor me, <laughs> give, a, give a ring. My contact information is in the description bar. Okay, so part of my wet hair, I just got out of the shower and I put it in a claw clip like this. That's what I always do. It's the 80s in me, I can't let it go. So first I'm gonna use the Murad Oil Control Mattifier. I really love this product because it looks and smells and feels just like Elmer's glue. And who doesn't love Elmer's glue? <laughs> no, um, it really helps my foundation not break apart. What happens is because my skin is so freaking oily that whenever I use foundation, like water-based foundations, I feel like my oil just breaks it down in like two seconds. So I've been using this for, I don't know, a bunch of months. I want to say when I got my hair done, I did it. So it's probably like five months ago. That's when I first started wearing it. Bird, bird started wearing me. Okay. I really like it. I highly recommend it. And it has been in my favorites before. So if you guys watch me, you know that. You know that. Danny always sends me like the cutest pictures of Totopo. <laughs> That's a topo. Look at the ball. He's a topo. Is he so adorable? Oh, she knows I'm totally obsessed with her dogs. And uh, Totopo is like, oh, he's my little chip. He's my little chip. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Water Blend, which is funny because I was just talking about Danny and she hates this shit. Okay, I got sent this foundation from Makeup Forever. I did not buy it, but whenever I get products sent to me, I always test them out and I give them a good go and, uh, you know, I talk to you guys about it. So they sent me some colors that didn't work for me. So if I blend two of the shades together, it does work for me. So I have to do a little finagling. So this is in the color Y245, which is a yellow base foundation. This is R240, which is pink. So what I do is three pumps of the Y, one pump of the pink. Uh, and the, the combination works really well actually so I just do one two three I never use more than two pumps of any foundation honestly and one pump of pink um, I never use this much foundation for anything but it really is a very um, thin foundation and you need a lot of it but that's okay because I have a lot of it <laughs> I'm gonna use my brush today I'm gonna use my Sigma F80 is this the F80 yeah the Sigma F80 to blend this out. I really should have gotten a towel before I started doing this, but that's okay. Um, I feel like if I have a lot of zits and stuff like that, this isn't the best foundation, or if you have trouble skin, but um, my skin, you know, I am 37, I do not have adult acne really, unless it's hormonal, so um, yeah. It's not really a problem. I do use, um, what, what do you call it? Concealer. When I need it. See, I still have a lot left. And look at, like, it doesn't even match my hand. Like, it doesn't even come close to matching my hand. But my face and my body are two separate colors because that's the way it goes in life sometimes. Uh, my face is, I don't know. My face hates me sometimes. That's just it. So... I don't like using this foundation with the Beauty Blender because it is a water foundation. It just soaks right in the Beauty Blender and you really don't get any product. Like, you need to use this with a brush, F80, any, any sort of foundation brush that makes you feel comfortable. That is the way to um, apply this foundation because otherwise, like, your Beauty Blender is just kind of like, just, just like a, just a little paper towel. Just like that. Okay, see? It just evens everything out. I really like it. We should even out my double chin. <laughs> Alright, so I have a lot left over, so I'll just schmutz a little away. Alright, I think it's a milk dead break time. Mm. Delicious. 
For blemishes, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, Concealer. This is R22 is the color. Oh, I hate it when Harley's hairs or Lily's hairs get on my skin. Ugh. I can't scrape at it because then I'll scrape away the foundation. Ugh. Okay, I don't really have a lot of pimple rouge today. Oop, I just put way too much over there. This is what it looks like in case you guys are curious. I have like a little burst blood vessel that I've had for years I have there. So I'll cover that up. Where's my foundation? Right, there we go. Just, just like that. Just like that. I tap it. I don't buff foundation like I see some people do because I have texture and if you buff what it's gonna do is just buff off the layer of foundation you just put on and it's gonna leave the stuff in your pores and then it's like why did you just spend all that time adding the foundation well yeah wasted your time all my products are over there welcome to the gun show welcome to the gun show today I'm gonna use my Graftobian makeup powder this is the French silk what's it called I can look French Silk HD Setting Powder. And just this Real Techniques Contour Brush. We're gonna... Well, fuck it. <laughs> not doing concealer under the eyes. See me, I don't go crazy with that all the time. Because I don't have real like dark circles. I do have like hollowing under the lids to a degree, but... It's not crazy. And... I need a brush. I'm gonna use my... What is this called? The Senna Powder Point Brush. I'm gonna swirl a little bit of this powder on the cap, just like this. Get this crap that's floating around my eyelashes off. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna puff this all over my face. Just puff it. I'm gonna just dust it. Dust it away. Just set that. We're just setting the foundations. Just setting the foundations. Silly. Okay, let's do this. I just got something new in the mail, and I think I'm gonna use that for my eyeshadow today. But we'll get to that eventually. We gotta contour first. I think I'm gonna contour first. Sometimes I will contour before anything else. Oh, I swear, this foundation, the uh, Makeup Forever Water Blend, and the Graftobian, these two together are amazing, and oh, the combination is amazing. You never find shit, I swear. Alright, so I'm gonna go with my NARS Ida and my NYX Taupe Blush. It's starting to dent, which means that it's gonna get a hole soon, and usually I like hitting pan on products. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, let's blend that out a little bit, huh? Um, I like hitting pan on products. Holy God. <laughs> Where is a brush? Jesus, Sam. Woo! Oh, holy moly! You know my mom always says, holy mackerel Andy, my mom always says. Um, anyway, I really like hitting pan. Get back to the point, Savannah. I really like hitting pan on products because you just feel like accomplished. Like you did something, you know, great because makeup was worth an award. <laughs> but, um... I don't, when there's a product that's discontinued and I'm obsessed with it, I do have a backup of this. I had bought three of them online for like way too much money. So I do have those. Do you see my melasma? Getting old sucks, dude. Like, ugh. I take care of myself. Well, I eat too much. But I mean, besides from that. Did we contour enough? We contoured a lot. <laughs> I was not planning on doing that much contouring, but... Sometimes a girl wants to look shapen. Yes. Yes, cheek bones. You get it, cheek bones. Okay. I'm going to go under here. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's go for full chisel. Get rid of the, get rid of that double chin. Get rid of the chin edge. Let's blend the chin edge. Oh, this brush. First of all, guys, you guys need this brush. It's amazing. It's the Dallium Tools um, 968. It's called the Dallium Tools HD. It's uh, from their HD line, I guess. I don't know. It says HD on there. I got this as um, PR from the makeup show. So I'm going to take a little bit of that Graftobian powder on this brush. That way I can thoroughly blend the contour. Like, if you guys put too much contour on, just go back in with your face powder, blend it out, 
Land it out. <laughs> Did you guys catch that? That's hilarious. Land it out. Okay. I'm like quirky mood. You know what? I'm happy I'm in a quirky mood today because I was like really sad yesterday, guys. Um, it happens. You know, it happens to all of us. Um, sometimes we just have sad days, and yesterday was like one of them. Like, I don't know, I was just having a really sad day. And sad days make me sad. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, for today, we're going to use the micro brow pencil in X, which is my favorite brow pencil. You guys know this. Let's do this. I look like a completely different person with eyebrows. You know what I find funny though? Um, my most popular videos on YouTube are my brow tutorials. Um, I guess I fascinate people on how to create eyebrows, which is awesome. So, um, if you guys want to check out my brow tutorials, I will link the whole playlist below. Hmm? So I think we're just going to leave this then. <laughs> you better love them this then. Holy mackerel. I am feeling more of a natural brow today though. Whenever I say that, my brows end up being like full on groucho marks. So I shouldn't say that. Here we go. A brow. Welcome to the party brow. <laughs> this is the better brow, just so you guys like. Everybody has a better brow. It's like the bane of all of our existences. This is my better brow. This brow is always the one that's a challenge to make it like match at all. And I know people are all like, oh, brows have to be sisters, not twins. Fuck that. I like my shit to match. Sorry. Two curses. Watch, but I, I had to be real. I'm sorry, I had to be real. If you guys only knew how much I curse in real life. Well, listen, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know how much I curse in real life. Oh, and on my channel, I used to curse so much. Like, you guys, like, so much. And, um... I just wanted to ease up because I know it's not for everybody. So um, I eased up a bit and I was like, Sam. And then for a while I didn't curse at all, like for a year. I guess maybe Danny brought the good out in me. <laughs> but then I slowly went back to it. I went back to it because it just came out. I couldn't, I couldn't deny my nature. Oh God, I have an edge of my eyebrow. Right in the middle of the eyebrow application. Ooh, that's about as close to even as I'm going to get them right now, honestly. So, that's alright. I'm okay with that. I'm alright with that. So, for primer, I'm going to use my Paint Chili Paint Pot by MAC and my Serenity Scott brush. Um, this brush has just been through the ringer and the number is all worn off and everything, so I can't even tell you what number it is. But it's like a little concealer brush. It is my favorite. I love these brushes so much. Okay, I'm just going to go under the brow. I do this to A, carve the brow, but B, whenever I try to apply my primer with my finger right next to my brow, I always wind up going over my brow. And I've worked so hard on them, so I don't want to erase them with my finger because I do not have precision fingertips for some reason. Oh, so, it's twofold. Alright, let's add eye, eye primer to the rest of the eyelid. So I told you guys, this is going to be a long video. This is probably going to be like an hour. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because I'm just taking my time. Like, I'm just hanging out with you guys. Someone else on my door. Hey, Vera. No. Eepies. I thought it was Vera. Hello, Eepies. How you doing, princess? You come to hang out with the party? You come to join the party, little pants? Her tail had a shadow in the camera, so I thought it was Harley. My bad. I'm sorry. Hey, princess. There's my girl. Here's my girl. There's no room on this desk right now for her. She's like, Mom, come on. That's my girl. That's my girl. All right, today, guys, let's get some eyeshadow going since I've already taken, like, way too much of your time. I'm gonna use this today. This is the Naked Smoky Palette. This is the Naked Smoky Palette from Urban Decay. I just got this in the mail. Um, I'd love to say that Urban Decay sent this to me, but they don't send me PR. Um, I bought this at Ulta. They sent me a ten dollar off your purchase coupon from uh, for my birthday because my birthday was last week, and I haven't used this yet. And I was like, oh, you know what? Screw it. I got ten dollars off. Um, it was ten times your points on Urban Decay palettes. 
So I was like, dude, seriously, if I buy it, it's $44 and then I get like almost 500 points from Ulta, which is what, $15, uh, $15 off my next purchase. So you know what, technically I spent what, $28 on this, okay. So ooh, here is the brush, here are the shades. Oh, sweetie, you wanna say hi? Come here, sweet. Come here, little sweet. This is little sweet. Oh, he's little sweet. Hey, little. Yeah, you wanna say hi? I know, she just wants attention. Oh, little sweet. Oh, that's a camera, you see yourself? She's looking at the viewfinder. I know, baby. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, you can lay down. Mommy, I'll move that stuff for you. One thing I really love about having cats, honestly, they always want to be around you. Like, they always want to be around. I have a confession. I have not cleaned my brushes since I moved. It's disgusting. Okay, first I'm going to start with this shade here. This is called... 13. It's so strange to have like the shades, the light shades on the, the, the right side of the palette because normally the dark shades are here, the light shades are here, so um, it's different for me. I'm just going to use like a flat shadow brush. This is from Hakahodu, but you guys can use any shadow brush you want. Do um, you guys want me to bring that a little closer? Let's do that. Hi, sweet. Sweet is just like something I say to people. I mean, a lot of times when I reply to people in the comments, I go, thanks, sweet. You know, it's just something I say, so. Did you see that? <laughs> Little. Okay, for my crease color, let's go crazy. Let's use Combust, the color that they probably intended for everyone's crease. Let's put that in there. Just looks like a nice taupey neutral. It's a great shade for a smoky palette. I'm thinking I want to keep it light on the lid and then just have like a smoky outer V or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I was dead set against getting this palette. Honestly, when it came out, I was like, seriously, I do not need that palette. Um, it's pointless. Um, I don't need it. But I love Urban Decay. I do. I love Urban Decay naked palettes. They're some of my favorites. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Uh, this is a Hakuhoto. This is a great brush. This is the J5523. It's kind of like the MAC 217, but like way softer. This 217 can be like a little bit harsh. So let's go for Dagger. This is it's like a dark kind of bluish gray, and it looks like a satiny finish. I'm going to tap off the excess, and I'm going to place that right here on the outer V. I'm just going to place it just like that. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to place it, and I'm going to drag it in a little bit. Thank you for releasing my light, my love. Okay, so we're going right up to the crease with this color. Yes, like that. Okay. I'm just going to take a blending brush. This is a Coastal Sense 250. Let's blend this a little bit, just slightly. Okay, this shape got a little higher, so I'm just going to go a little higher with this one. Let's take a tiny bit of Password, which kind of looks a little bit more purpley, but it's still that gray kind of tone, and I'm going to mix that with Combust, just to kind of make a little bit of a more transition-y shade. I know this kind of sounds like a silly thing to say, but I feel like when I left my apartment, I kind of forgot how to do makeup a little bit. I know that really just sounds like a ridiculous thing to say, but makeup's all about practice, and I feel like I forgot how to blend sometimes, you know? Now we need the eyelid color. Um, I'm going to go for Slanted, which is this silvery color. Let's go with that on the, on the eyelid. I think that could be fun. Let's do that right here in between the nothing and this. The nothing. Oh my gosh, I love Never Ending Story. Artax! Atreyu! Artax! The Never Ending Story. 
Okay, so I'm going to go with this first color here. This is called High. High, and I'm going to put that right in the beginning of the lid. Yeah, that looks good. feel like high should be applied with the finger, let's say. I think we got more pigmentation with the finger. Okay, so let's do that. Now, let's go into the lower lid. I'm going to take dagger, which is that gray color, and I'm going to bring that onto the lower lash line. All the way up to the front, and then I'm going to mix that lighter color in there. And lastly, let's take some of Combust, which is that transition shade, and let's move that under the lower lash line. It's going to blend it all together. Let's blend it all together. I like this. I like the way this came out. I'm kind of feeling like I need liquid liner, though, with this look, but I don't want to take away from the eyeshadow. I got it. Let me do this. Let me take a blending brush and I'm going to take a little bit of black market, which is like a really super dark, this looks like a blackened gray. Let's take a little bit of this, tap off the excess and just go right in the inner corner with it and just wiggle it. Okay. So let's do tight lining. Now we're just going to tight line. Let's use our NARS uh, Larger Than Life pencil. That way it just makes the lashes look really dark. Sorry guys, I can't talk when I do that. Oh, I will jab myself in the eye. See, now I have to clean up my under eyes because I fall out. See, that's why people do foundation after. I totally get it. Okay, let's mascara it up. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I just opened a new one. Yippee skippy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the cicadas are out. And, um, you know, they come out in August here on Long Island. And it's just, it reminds me of being a kid. Hearing them singing. My brother chasing me all over the house, all over the house, all over the yard with them. Ugh, those things are so damn scary. Now I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs Robert Noir. Um, yeah. So I just put this very lightly at the base of the lashes, just to kind of make them look thicker. I don't necessarily run this all through my lashes because it does clump, so I just kind of pull it out. Also, I'm going to go with my Benefit, my Benefit, <laughs> my Clinique Bottom Lash, because you guys know it's my jam. And let's put that mascara on the lower lashes, because this kind of look needs it, you know? I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so... I do need to clean up a little bit under my eyes because I went ahead and got some fallout. So I'm going to go in with that same concealer I used before, which is the Makeup Forever. And let's clean those under eyes. This is just some Real Techniques brush. Repowder under here. I'm just using whatever powders left on this brush from before. No need to uh, get crazy with it. Okay, and I am going to go in with another Coastal Sense 250 and back in with Combust a little just to replace that transitioning shade that kind of got wiped away a little bit when I had to add concealer because I'm a messy bag. I'm thinking we need, first of all, I need to like clean up all these brushes. Um, I need to do a nude blush. I'm going to go to one of the Tarte blushes. Which one do we think? This is, I believe, Exposed Blush by Tarte. Okay. 
Okay, and let's go for a highlighter. What do we want to do for highlight today? Okay, and let's go for a highlighter. What do we want to do for highlight today? Let's do um, a shimmering skin perfector in pearl. And yeah, let's do that. Because you know what? It kind of ties into like that silvery look of the uh, makeup. So I think that would be really good. Yeah, I like that. Gives that like frosty look to it. For lips, I kind of want to do like a nude, but on the pinkish side. So, okay, I'm going to go with the Makeup Forever. This is in the color C105. Oh, it's done for a second. Oh, I love the shade. So, so pretty, you guys. And I'm going to go on top of that with Perfect Nude by Sephora. It's one of their glosses. It's kind of like a gel. So I think this will be really great on top. Oh, what? Yeah. I think everyone's going to go crazy over this look combination. Okay, guys. So this is the finished look. I really had fun hanging out with you guys today. Um, I know it's hard for me to concentrate on talking to you guys a lot when I'm doing these kinds of videos because I get in like teach mode, you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, let me tell you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So I'm sorry for that. I hope you really liked the finished product. My, I'm sorry my hair is wet, so it looks super classy, but um, that way you just focus on the makeup. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this kind of video, don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.